Shalom, I'm David Benkoff, the Broadway Maven, with Marquis Broadway News for October 2024. This up-to-the-minute report is brought to you by your free weekly Broadway Appreciation Substack newsletter. Subscribe to Marquee at thebroadwaymaven.com or at the link in the comments. So here are three headlines all you Broadway mavens out there don't want to miss. First, shiz happens sooner than you think. The official release of the first Wicked movie is less than a month away, and Universal is doing a full media and marketing blitz to get ready. Fans worldwide are speculating on social media about how the beloved Broadway musical will translate to the big screen, especially with stars like Cynthia Erivo as Elphaba and Ariana Grande as Glinda. Erivo has faced an understandable backlash after criticizing a fan's art obscuring her eyes as the wildest, most offensive thing I have seen, among other choice words. Overall, it seems most fans felt she was overreacting, though others defended her right to choose how her image is portrayed. Mattel's Wicked Toys have gotten lots of attention, and the two Universal Studios theme parks are offering Wicked the Experience, an interactive exhibit that looks Oz-tastic. I'll be reporting on my visit to the Wicked part of Universal Studios Hollywood in the November 14th issue of Marquee. Second, fan conventions straddle the pond. On an eight-hour layover through London, I got to ease on down the tube to MusicalCon, which is billed as the world's biggest musical theater fan convention. As a relative newcomer to the underground, I wasn't sure I was on the right train until I saw a man dressed as Beetlejuice sit down across from me. Organizers claim more than 10,000 participants come every year, and there were dozens of special guests and more than 100 hours of programming. Maven scholar Ella Shaw was there all weekend, and she told me she found the overall vibe of the event to be sweet and sincere. She has a full report in the October 31st issue of Marquee. Compared to New York's somewhat smaller Broadway con, musical con is more tightly fan-oriented, and the celebrities who attended were almost all performers. Many were famous only to West End audiences, but Andre De Shields and some other Broadway performers were there as well. In my brief visit, I did get to see a Mean Girls panel, which was great since I saw and reviewed the London production of the show just two weeks earlier. Speaking of Broadway Con, that event is set for February in Manhattan. While programming has not been announced, the Broadway Maven has proposed five panels including a conversation with Sondheim book writer John Weidman and a rare joint appearance between Wicked novelist Gregory Maguire and Wicked script and screenwriter Winnie Holzman. Once Broadway Con makes its decisions, the scheduled panels will be announced in the newsletter. Number three, three openings, Sunset Boulevard, Teeth, and Gypsy. Three musicals that opened or will open this fall in New York are so enthralling that I've already bought tickets. On my early November theater trip, I'm seeing both Sunset Boulevard and Teeth in the same day. Sunset Boulevard, of course, marks Andrew Lloyd Webber's return to the Great White Way, less than two years after The Phantom of the Opera closed. I'm a fan of Sunset Boulevard's score, although the book is a bit bloated, and I'll be interested to see what changes they've made, if any. Initial reviews after the October 20th opening were mixed, with Jesse Green at the New York Times calling it too silly for words. The Washington Post, however, could not restrain its praise for star Nicole Scherzinger's performance, almost absurdly glamorous. She has the rare, unflinching magnetism of an exotic bird and commands the spotlight with bone-chilling intensity. Wow, gotta see that one. Teeth is Michael R. Jackson's latest musical, opening for a second off-Broadway run at New World Stages on Halloween. The show's unusual premise involves a fervently Christian young woman who discovers the dental delights of the show's title in her genitalia. I know it sounds weird, but so did a rapping black Thomas Jefferson. Finally, I'm eager to see Sondheim back on Broadway, which will happen with the December 19th opening of Gypsy, starring the finest musical theater actress of our generation, Audra McDonald. I'll be seeing it the week before Broadway Con in February, and I've often said that uh, between Julie Stein's infectious music, Stephen Sondheim's jaw-dropping lyrics, and Arthur Lawrence's tight book, it's the book that really makes this show soar. So I can't wait to see a woman who's so accomplished as an actor, as well as a singer, 
take on the greatest role Broadway has ever offered to women of a certain age. Let me entertain you, indeed. This has been Marquis' first foray into the world of YouTube Broadway news. What kind of Broadway news do you want in this kind of report? Tell us in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Marquis is a free weekly Broadway appreciation newsletter with essays, reviews, piano talks, Broadway blasts, quizzes, and more. And learn about all classes and projects at thebroadwaymaven.com. And here's a video I think you'll like.